people, it's Brittany, and today I am doing the Charmed book tag. This tag was originally created by My Books Are Me, and I will link the original video down below. I am a huge fan of Charmed. I have rewatched the series so many times. I'm actually currently in the middle of a rewatch, and I am so excited to be diving back into this world of Charmed and these sisters and the bond they have and this fun magic. And I did watch the first episode of the new Charmed reboot, and I don't hate it, which I thought I was going to. I thought I was really going to, like, hate it. But I'm not quite sure how I feel. I am going to watch the next couple of episodes when they come out and then make a decision. It's not quite like the original. It's definitely not like an exact copy, which is of course what they were going for. They wanted to put their own twist on the show. So overall, I really enjoyed it. But it's not to the... Currently, it's not to my level of like charmed wise. But then again, I have loved charmed forever. And so I don't know if anything could compare. So when I found out about this tag, I was so excited and immediately knew I really wanted to do it. So let's get straight to the questions. In this night and in this hour, we call upon the ancient powers. Bring your power to We Sisters 3. We want the power. Give us the power. A book or series that started you off on your magical journey of reading. This one I have mentioned a bunch of times on this channel and it is Daughters of the Moon. I loved this book series. It was 13 books long and I devoured every single one of them. And it was also about this sisterhood bond of like a found family of sisters that each had their own magical powers and they were fighting. It was very much liked Charmed in book form and I loved every second of it. Hallowell Manor, a house, place, or world that you want to live in. This was easy for me. This is the Hotel Deucalion in Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow, or Nevermore in general, actually. I really want to live there. It's so whimsical and fantastic. And the hotel itself is also semi-sentient and kind of changes depending, the rooms change depending on your mood and what's going on. And the guests themselves are each very unique and fun to be around and I think it would be a magical place to be and this is somewhere that if it existed I would be visiting on the regular. Pro Hallowell, a kick-ass female lead. This one I went with Aelin from the Throne of Glass series. While at times she does annoy me and she can be way too independent for my liking, she is also amazing. She not only can fight, she can use her magic, and she schemes like no one else. She is overall the definition of a badass female, and if I had to be thrown into this world, I would hope I would be just as awesome as Aelin is herself. Piper Hallowell, your bookish mom. This one was easy and instant, and probably the one that everyone goes with, and that is Molly Weasley from the Harry Potter series. She is such a fantastic mom, so protective and loving and kind, and she just cares about the people that that she calls her family, even if they aren't her immediate family, even the Order of the Phoenix family she loves and is protective of, and I just think that is such an awesome quality, and I would love to have her as a mom. Even though I have an amazing mom and an amazing mother-in-law, I would love to have Molly Weasley as another mom. You could never have too many moms, right? Right? Phoebe Hallowell. A character you really wish you knew the future of or you can't wait to see their future. And for me, this is Mia Corvair for both counts. I really want to know what happens to her in the future, but I cannot wait to see what she does at the same time. And while I've only read Nevernight and I will get to God's Grave soon, Dark Dawn doesn't come out for another year and I do have to wait to figure that out. And I think it's just going to be such a wild ride, but also... I'm not ready to see how her future is. Paige Matthews, a series you relate to the party for. This is definitely The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. So late to this, they're already all out. They've been out for a while and I'm currently listening to them and I just really, really love them and they're fantastic books. And I really wish I had picked them up earlier because I'm super late to this party. <laughs> Leo Wyatt. A book or series you turn to when you need a pick-me-up. And I have two for this, and they are my all-time favorite books, and it is Daughter of Smoke and Bone and Nevermore. These books are just so fantastic, and I think about them all the time, especially if I'm in a really sad mood, and I'm like, maybe I should pick them up, or just like think about a scene, and it kind of helps pick me up. But these are definitely like my go-to books. Demons. 
a book or series that has a huge following but you didn't really like. This one, I didn't dislike this, but I just kind of felt sort of mad in between kind of just like middle ground up. And that's The Hunger Games. I have no desire to pick up the books. I have seen the first two movies and I think the first Mockingjay movie, but I haven't finished them. I just don't really care to pick up the books or to get into this world. I was never really that big of a fan of it. And the last one is Forever Charmed, a book or series with the perfect ending. For me, I have to go with Lainey Taylor's books, Muse of Nightmares, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. These are so amazing. These books have the perfect amount of closure for the current story, but also leaving you wanting more of the world, of the story, of the characters. And I just think that's amazing because you'll always want to turn back to these books. I know I do. I just love Lainey Taylor's writing so much and her stories and her characters and the way she ends her books is just so fantastic. And I really, really hope she writes more books with these characters or like ties them together because it'd be amazing. And oh, there we go. That is all the questions. Tell me down in the comments below who your favorite sister was or your favorite season, your favorite episode, anything about Charmed because I love that show so much. I've even started collecting the books that go along with the show and I'm really excited to pick those up soon. Don't forget that all my social media links are down in the description below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the bookish content that I put out. I will see you guys next time with another fun video. Bye! Mm -hmm.